policy to be embraced by each one that one let us equip them it is not necessarily entering the official sector but on their own and if when they are read through and retrain at the secondary school level they'll be able to do one or two things mm -hmm. with the open knowledge and fear and it. possibly grow that is the matter the field of so choice. that is why Akufuado said that now we cannot wait anymore mm. it's only the president you after all one Uganda yeah. and the Museveni they've tried and they have reached somewhere yeah. that of Kenya also they also tried and in Baki uh, yeah. in, in, in Waki Baki yeah. and others to be continued by who? and others you get me so what are we waiting for so being the uh, south of the Sahara typical office first in Africa and also this free education don't, don't be too proud Africa. yet don't be too I'm proud yet. no no I'm coming I'm coming I'm coming I said I, I did make an admission yeah. that the previous administration started uh -huh. you see they put up the structures and wh what is nation building why do people change government? contribution and add why do people change government? because they want a better yeah. more than they have so what I'm saying is the previous administration did their quota mm -hmm. but what this government is saying we can't wait anymore you let's take make it to the next two, step. three steps two three steps and we're there that's the nation building yeah, what I was so, going to say is that so I'm not saying that of the previous one, no. You, you can't be totally excited about it because... I'm coming, out, I'm coming out. You see, the euphoria, uh -huh. there must be admission. Okay. But now, the real challenges. Yes. That's what we need to. I said, if you don't put the issue before you, how do you uh, meet the challenges? How do you overcome the challenges? And that's the issue. So, I'm not rejoicing. But the mere fact that people have the, the zeal, the desire on the part of people of Ghana. You see... It's not everything we need to be reading politics. I don't call it, but it's the regime of the day. Mm. After all, he pride himself as a Ghanaian, not as an MPP, not as an NDC, that but as true. a Ghanaian. And that is the people of Ghana, it's not MPPs that have put him there. The Deputy Minister for Education once said on this show that it's the people of Ghana yes. who will make this free SHS successful. It's not MPP. They will be the sole testifiers of this free SHS. But what I am saying is that. Mm. We have to ensure, or government, or the people of Ghana, have to ensure the success of this program, at least for the first three years, to see the first batch of students graduate successfully. Then we can say yes. Through the challenges and through the confrontations and all the, the hercules, we've made it successful. So that's what I'm saying. Don't rejoice yet. Mr. Anim, I'm not rejoicing. I'm not rejoicing. What I'm saying, the little boy who says, I will, uh -huh. will always be there. And that is the of NDP. He said, we will. We need to deliver. The Ghana has got resources. We have got a written. We have given us the mandate. What are we waiting for? It is, you see, the success of this educational flagship policy is not a policy or something which MPP must maybe, we should be drumming to the whole world we have achieved. It is the people of Ghana yeah. who must drum it to the whole world that we resolved. Because it was you and I. We all resolved that we need to mm. support the agenda. If the will of the people is not there, how can you foresee this? Well, so it's, it's a safe. national matter which I think everyone must contribute to that. But typically of us, see, this one is a minor. I think people have uh, some colleagues of mine and are saying, oh, the desire of MPP is to, NDC is to make sure that uh, the doesn't succeed. Yeah. No, it's not like that. At least, what is their job? Their job it's is constructive criticism. Yeah. That's their duty. No, you are using constructive. Their duty. I don't think... I'm oh. coming out. By their criticism... Listen. By their criticism, MPP will always be on top of issues. If you don't receive such challenges, we will be living in a different world. That is true. And what I'm calling my colleagues is that it is not everything of NDC. That is, that is bad, yeah. Yeah, also Some they have to pay attention yes. to. But at least, they, as they, once they are making their quota, they have a clever way of going about it. And they out of it. Of course, so they have everything, to be working towards... Everything going here and there, there must be some politics, politics. aspect of it. But, but so the, there's a popular saying, pay my mother's tongue. Mm -hmm. That will be power upon the more. Not sure. Power more okay. Okay. But too much, see, always criticizing. He's just urging you. And don't say he doesn't like you. He's an enemy. You're an enemy. In politics, we don't use the word enemy. Mm. We open it. You are compatriots mm. who is after the same goal like you want to achieve. Yeah. The only thing is the formula mm. that he is suggesting. 
He just don't listen. So when I hear our political, who is your political enemy? You are compatriot. You are just appealing to the people of Ghana. Give us the power. We will deliver it on Shapa and with shortest possible. It's like what the terminology shortest possible time within this and that. Those, those. But one of the each one of us is after the good of Ghana. But at least bringing the issue with that discussion, I'm courage of it. Yes. Now let me go to energy. You say, hey, Mr. Nim, this country, if you look at one major problem, especially with regard to energy, and today, if you might have listened to IFS, hmm? uh, Institute of Financial uh, so, so, uh, Distance and those, there was an, a statement by Professor Kisi. Kisi used to be the chief director of the Ministry of uh, Finance and Economic under the previous regime. Made a very nice suggestion that one, if you look at currently, and it's on an issue I raised some time ago in Parliament, that how long can this country, we have now found oil, we are becoming an emerging nation, which is being seen as one at the forefront with regard to oil production. How can we be continuing ferrying the oil produced in this country to be what? To be refined right. outside the country. It's time from the fact that we have got obsolete machines. The power we have was built in the early 1960s. And look at where we are. It's over 50 something years. So there is the need for this country to have a new and modern refinery. And it is going to cost us, but it is worth doing. If it is 4 billion, what? What are the issues? What? At the moment, we are at the mercy and what? the patriotism of the people. You see, if you look at the history of this oil, you are manufacturing uh, oil, Ghana is uh, extracted. Yeah. It is the task component and the local content aspect and the royalty. Oh, royalty is not more than 30% of the total oil produced in this country. And that's the major component we get. And then 10% as a player mm -hmm. in the game. The rest, because of, you know, the cost of this we have the Talo and the Cosmos. Then other, you know, I'm, I used to be one of the lawyers for uh, EO Group. Oh, okay. So I know what uh, the history and everything of this. But I ask myself, but on the day, if you produce the oil, are there? And you see, this oil is being mined 69 kilometers from the waters of Ghana, uh -huh. deep down there. So it, we just lie on the patrolling of the Ghanaian village over there. Which they leave this oil <laughs> and they take it to those yeah. areas to be refined. But if we had a modern refinery, all these oil products, at least there will be Part better be transparency. Yes. And we get them here and we know what, what is going in. And yeah, what's rather than lie on the magnanimity and patriotism of, of our leader. representatives. Well, and we have reached that stage. That is so true. that this nation must benefit rather than carrying them I over there. I think we there. need to take a so cue from Nigeria. And yes, they didn't that's have what they have. Refinery. Yes, so, we should, so at we least after really over 50 years, Nigeria. we need to have a modern yeah. refinery we have so that we have the better benefits yeah. And that access of this. I agree with you, Lawyer Ban. Let me quickly announce the phone lines. You can join this show on 0240 550 899. 0240 550 899. Let's take a quick break, and when we're back, your phone ins and your text messages on WhatsApp and Facebook Live are very welcome. We'll be right back after this break. Welcome back to the show. Reminded that you can join us on 0240 599. 0240 599. And Whichever language you want to express yourself in, you're very welcome to do so. Uh, Honorable Yaba speaks about four or five, if I can recall. And I do a few. So we'll try and play it together and make it successful. This is the show that brings you results. The show that makes your words go travel the length and to bring you what you expect. Honorable, we were touching on the oil refinery that needs to be refurbished or rebuilt here since we've discovered oil and that will help transparency and I think it will also create job and expand out. I remember when people were laid off some years ago because the refinery wasn't working. You know it actually shut down in faces like there was this we had the, 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 the fire outbreak at the place, we had a series of breakdowns and then finally it wasn't working again. You were, you were touching on that before we went on break. Thank you Ms. Enim. Ms. Enim I was just talking of that when when was the the only refinery we've got built? It was built somewhere 1960s to 1960s, yeah. very early part of 1960s. And when where are we now? You see, the machines are so obsolete. Yeah, 
And then I said, what? I don't think, in fact, production-wise, we are in conformity with modern technology as compared to other jurisdictions. Mm. And Uzi, the sad aspect of our situation is that any time we try to, there's breakdown, mm. breakdown. Mm. Because, because the machines so are quite And old. yet we get yeah. all this being shut down through no fault of our engineers, through no fault of the management, but aside from the fact that the machine are too obsolete. And people and they come out and say, yes, look at the hiccups, problems, it always creates. And when they are laid off, they don't receive salaries. Yeah. They are just in a pay agreement. Collect half of what you used to or and go away. See what how we destabilize the planning of workers and other things here at the inconvenience are very much. Mm. So in fact, at least after how long have you been in this production? We started this production of the last bit of his excellency Kofor's administration. Yeah. That's about two thousand and seven or two thousand eight. Yeah. Which uh, my brother Honorable Ada brought or which Honorable who can say it was a dream of I remember. You know, a dream of for this and that. Too. Funny <laughs> enough, we, we visited <laughs> the, the Tolu boss uh -huh. and we, we he took he gave us a sample. Uh -huh. I think I was part of the team, okay. President Kufo and a mm -hmm. few others, Pipi Buafo at the uh -huh. time, mm -hmm. and some others. And they said, This is what was called a dream of. I want you, the media, to try. Try it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that, uh, it was, it was, so you saying a dream of just You know, it was a payback. Because the what Honorable Lee Okra was, he wasn't being received. Of. He was doing the same thing. When it was 19, they said the regime of uh, our late, one of our founders, Aram Bonza, yeah. said so to CPP during the time. That when they said the oil, this matter, uh, Aram Bonza, oh, move on, I don't go ganga Anyway, forgive me, I'm trying to bring this in back. That, that bringing the library aspect of the world. Yeah. You see, there must be a little politicking here and there. That's but on national well, issues, right. I think we should just embrace it and move on. Rather oh, than yes, to politicize. Fact, it is long overdue yeah. with regard to building of refinery. You see, take our situation. Any serial minded nation cannot rely on what? The patriotism of others. Yeah. We produce this thing in bulk. We know that one, Africa and third countries, we are already handicapped. Yeah. But we don't have we are the expected capital. Yeah. To move on own. It is as the Western world. Who always fucking the money being is capital intensive. It is. So if you don't allow the best of the terms, when yeah, I say that people say Okay, I think we have a caller on the line. Let's you, let's let's, let's yeah. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Can you please turn down the volume on your T V set? If I turn out T V in the volume in from Kakra. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yes. Yeah, tell me, come back to your course. Hello, my name is Kablenji. Yeah, Kablenji, go on. Yeah, um, me, 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 yeah, yeah, then I go for a trip. And then I'm not do. Or we can, or my name is so much. Uh, na. Uh, Yes, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's all that we are. Yeah, it's too sweet to cheek. Oh, and yes, we do all kind of cheek. And yes, and you can never buy anything. All the issues I'm raising, I agree, can be highlighted by my good detail because yeah, if you say, now is the hour, I say, me throw light on it. Well, let's watch her. I agree. Ghana, you make a sea pie, fat, and depending on it. Eh, I agree, set up. We go, who pro, who pro. Either directly or indirectly, you will at least. 40% of the total active population of Ghana doing the in the yeah. sector. It's a new one that we have to do with the main state. But the only thing we the engine the Indians are by the city, and so now I agree with a strong revival. And it's a... Okay, here's what the phobia of the line is. So, hello, good morning. 
Hello, good morning. Okay, let, let I think. Please turn down the volume on your TV set when you call. And um, I, it helps us communicate better. We part of Friday, I know I'm out TV in the volume, and I can form Kakra. So they better know because I saw a telephone, so any TV, so TV, so I need delay because I caught through transmission process. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Okay, I think. One was there. About we buy and say major agri policy of planting for food, yeah, increasing of jobs. I would say, since you watch her. Yet me address it especially commercial products in your your baby to say a mo a a brew and an asset for and a cocoa so already our market. So if I know we in a buffer stock, yeah, my buffer stock. But is it a one area? One area, yeah, yeah, perishable food products are a yeah, body, banche, and then. Tomatoes, they say, are starting to be called for the school. But we just have these categories here. Farmers award this area, no, they are not being rewarded enough. What is a minimum? You know, I said, you can't want to hear any Farmers are buying them acreage, they will produce you. They will produce you. I buy a trace can of salt to mouth. Exactly. Yeah, how do you say you could be a body? You could chop. That's a body and turn an answer. That's a couple. No, no, no. It is a Bible tire, yeah, you know, that's why planting for food, you know. And they say, Products are you bet me as for to be you to be my school, yeah, yeah, a more a brew and not so for but near your main kelly board, yeah, bunch and not so for any area has to say, yes, a sebe, a great and penny for a best remo near the hard best to sustain farmers in this area because the bulk of the farmers and also no, a corner more than all. Let me pick a call and then we'll be right back. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hello. Yes, may I talk to you? Maybe I'll free free. Yeah, I'm not getting any information for the webinar, Mr. Chairman. Okay, correct you, Koso. I'm not getting any information for the MP Snad at all. I'm not getting any information a conference in where the people are in your foot were on the Yakatan show. You know, Obama Dina, a mammy dog pulling more later days into Honomona. Empty pinny guide you or Honom. And I say, your man is born at this way in your foot. Now, on a mirror that you may dear would you or Honom fat or you could pass in any one. You, Miano was shop where Yemika or Babet Tamo guy now, a ye wed and all Honom. Okay, correct me. In some say no, I am not. You have two sides, Niti. You have to me. You have to me find two justices here. And today, Ebeya, Frela, you know, after the the show, why? Aha. In some say no, I quite one-sided. No, you have to me find two ja. Why? Aha. You better say better fair, Kakra. See the work in Kaka. Who the fair? Now after the show, now can you come one step? Now can you have a team? Now before I do be two ja. Yeah, you understand? You are not fair to the other party. What you say? It will be a fatty and now we dear yeah you to me and fan to ya. I think you have another a buy policy. Hello, good morning. Hello? Yes, good morning. Patrick Dini baby I'll free free. Hello? Yes, good morning. Hello, good morning. Can you turn down the volume on your TV set? Okay, please you're reminded when you call, just turn down the volume on your TV set so we can talk over the phone and not over the TV because the TV goes through a lot of process. Why? Honorable, Okay. already market by buffer stock. Aye, who And you be no this a day. So quite a busy answer. Fertilizer, me yaka kradi aye. Adi a Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, me patcho udini baby I'll free free. Hello? Yes, good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? Hello? Hello, good morning. Please turn down the volume on your TV yeah, set. Hi monitor. Hi monitor. It's obvious you're listening from the TV set. Can you please turn down the volume or mute it? Can you hear me please? Yes, we can hear you, but there's a delay. Hello? Okay. I think Hello? we'll pick another call. 
Please, when you call, turn down the volume on your TV set or mute the TV if possible. Let's talk over the phone and not through the TV. Honorable. With the planting for food and just creation, mm -hmm. phase two and three. Yamu mo di ya se ye betra eni ma kwa ba mo na enye sole emu eburo atoku wano e wo already market no ya se ye tono. But what about the other side? Ye be deni address that problem. E pushi enkola ni na se they have jidet to go into farming because now there is assurance. Farming will be fertilizer. Yes. So it's online. You see, oh, I miss a name. If you look at the issue, previously... Hello, good morning. I think we have a caller in the line. Your name and where you're calling from? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, Hello. Yes, Koso. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Uh huh. Okay. Yo, for food, and just no. I'm saying, yes, yes, sir. Yeah, quite by no. Emo. Now, yes, sir. They say, yes, tell me why. And we are buying beef. They say, emo. Already market or atoko. Already market or other things like a garini nina. But almost almost other forest bed area. Ye produce not necessarily cash crops. Ye ye koko nda se for. But almost almost ye produce board ye menkeni. Bunch in a forum. Almost every area, and I say, next phase, yes, I buy in penny for experts. Again, one class, near here, send you a bit, yes, sustain you almost no more continuing means. No, no, yeah, that's a very, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a lawyer, yeah, and it's also a former member of parliament, so you heard his submission both in Chi and in English. He's very eloquent and very, very outspoken. I think he's been a lecturer before, and he's still. He, he can mentor a lot of lawyer and upcoming lawyers. We'll have him here again next week talking about some issues. But we'll be on the standby. We're bringing you live the State of the Nation address today from the Department House. And also we have a panelist here to discuss some of the topics that the President is going to touch on. Others expecting him to talk on the NHIA. You heard some callers expecting him to touch on the driver policing situation on the road and agree and uh, other matters. But we are also holding up to hear what he will touch on and what he will talk about, state of security of the nation and all that. Coming up here at Net2 TV, we'll bring you the live feed together with a studio discussion. We are making way for Amofa. And if Amofa is lying, do we have Amofa on the line today? Amofa? OK, if we don't have Amofa today, I'm laying over to the National Agenda Studio right now. We are out of here and we'll be here same time tomorrow. It is the dialogue. And my name once again is Jonas Abedi Enim. I want to use this opportunity to say happy birthday to my mom, Juliana Chocho Ama. You've been the lovely and the most lovely mother I can ever ask for. And I pray God's blessings and long life for you. I also want to say a good morning to Mr. and Mrs. Elizabeth Dankwa. Mr. and Mrs. Elizabeth Dankwa of the Parents and Child Foundation. You guys have been a pillar a pillar to my life since about SHIS. You guys have been a wonderful family to me. I thank you and I love you all. Have a good day.